we eat, especially when we eat foods high in carbohydrates, so things like bread and rice and pasta, our blood glucose levels rise. That's your blood sugar. Now, it's really important for good health that we maintain our blood glucose levels within a fairly narrow range. The normal range is somewhere here. Now, when we eat, our blood glucose levels rise. And what happens is the organ called the pancreas releases a hormone called insulin. And insulin's job is to act kind of like a key into cells all around the body, especially in our muscles and in the liver, to get that glucose out of the blood and up into the cells, where it acts like fuel so that we've got the energy that we need to do all our daily tasks. So as insulin is released, our blood glucose levels come back down into the normal range. Happy days, that's exactly what we want. Now what happens in diabetes is that either you're not producing enough insulin or you're producing defective insulin that can't do its job. So in that case, we see blood glucose levels go much higher and it takes much, much longer to get them back down. Now that's bad news for health because these glucose spikes after meals are very damaging to blood vessels all around the body. And that's when we start to see the complications of diabetes. So it damages things like the eyes, your kidneys, uh, the little capillaries and the extremities like your fingers and your toes. So what's absolutely crucial is that we help our bodies to maintain blood glucose levels as close into that narrow range as possible. Now in type 2 diabetes, what happens is you can no longer keep your blood glucose level within that range and the system completely malfunctions but it's not a lost cause. Management of your diabetes is absolutely key to reducing the complications and making sure that you maintain your optimal health.